from billions of birds and rodents to quadrillions of fish and worms. Here are 17 of the most abundant animals on Earth. Number 17, pigeons, 400 million. Since they seem to show up just about everywhere, you might think the pigeon population would exceed an estimated 400 million individuals. They're found in almost all the world's urban areas, with more than one million thought to reside in New York City. Their population is rapidly growing worldwide, and continued urbanization is expected to help increase their numbers. Did you know that pigeons belong to the same family as doves? Number 16, domestic cats, 600 million plus. Did you know that these animals are the only domesticated species within the Felidae family? Along with dogs, they provide the most animal companionship for humans. Typically, it's the house cat that stays with us. Feral cats avoid human contact. Researchers say that cats may have been domesticated up to 9,500 years ago, so it's been a long-term relationship. Even though cats are popular in the US, they rank second to freshwater fish as pets. FYI, dogs rank third after cats. Number 15, domestic dogs, 987 million. If you own a dog, your pet has plenty of canine company around the world. The global population of domestic dogs is estimated at more than 987 million individuals. But most dogs aren't kept as pets. In many parts of the world, they're scavengers that have never been owned by humans. And if a human does approach them, they'll become aggressive or run off. In developed countries, many dogs are feral or living in the wild. Others are stray or live in shelters. Researchers say that approximately 20% of the world's domestic dogs are kept as pets. Number 14, cattle, 1.4 billion. Researchers say that modern cattle sprang from a mere 80 ancestors in central Turkey more than 10,000 years ago. Often called cows, they're large, domesticated ungulates that are widespread around the world and serve a variety of purposes. They're typically raised as dairy cattle for milk or beef cattle for their meat. Cattle hides are used to make leather and the beasts are also used for pulling carts or plows. In some regions of the world, they're regarded as sacred animals and some smaller breeds are kept as pets. More than 1.4 billion cattle are estimated to inhabit the planet. Did you know that in 2018, more than 134 billion pounds, 61 million metric tons of beef was consumed worldwide? Number 13, red-billed quileela, 1.5 billion. If you thought pigeons had a big population, they're far outnumbered by these critters. The red-billed quileela is a small sparrow-like bird that's native to sub-Saharan Africa. Because they can extensively damage crops, it's sometimes called Africa's feathered locust. Efforts to control their population have been mostly unsuccessful. If anything, their numbers continue to grow. Most sources cite the red-billed quileela as the world's most numerous undomesticated birds. Researchers say there are an estimated 1.5 billion individuals flying about. Flocks containing millions of them appear like a rolling cloud as they migrate to food sources. Taken as a group, birds are thought to have a population that exceeds 400 billion. Number 12, humans, 7.7 .7 billion and counting. If it seems like things are getting a little crowded, here's one reason why. Current estimates place the global population at more than 7.7 .7 billion individuals. And that number is increasing as you're watching this. Worldwide, the human population grows by about 83 million annually. That's an increase of about 1.1% each year. At that rate, our population is expected to surpass 11 billion by the year 2100. With those hefty numbers, it's no wonder that we're having a major impact on the environment. Human activities like land development and the use of fossil fuels are thought to be key contributors to global climate change. Many sources cite us as the most numerous mammal species currently on the planet. Number 11, brown rats, billions. These common rodents are often called sewer rats or Norwegian rats, and they're found everywhere except for Antarctica. They live anywhere humans do, especially in urban areas. In terms of survivability, they're one of the world's most successful terrestrial vertebrates. We couldn't find an exact number for their population. That's probably because researchers aren't eager to do a head count. For many reasons, it's difficult to gauge their numbers accurately. But consider that these rodents are sexually mature at the age of six weeks. Females can become pregnant soon after giving birth. 
By some estimates, a population of brown rats can grow from two individuals to a swarm of 15,000 within a single year. In New York City, estimates of the rat population range from 2 million to more than 33 million individuals. On a global basis, many experts think the rodents probably outnumber humans. Number 10. Chickens, 23 billion plus. There are several locations where these birds may have originated. Southeast Asia and the Indian subcontinent are two of the most commonly sighted regions. While we typically regard them as a food source, they didn't start off that way. Researchers say that they were originally raised for special ceremonies or for fighting purposes. It wasn't until the 4th century BC that the birds were bred for their meat and eggs. Did you know there are more chickens in the world than any other domesticated fowl or bird? Worldwide, about 16 billion chickens are consumed annually. Most sources cite there are at least 23 billion of these animals that are alive and clucking today. Number 9. Frogs. There are some animals on the list that don't have a clear estimate for their population. Frogs are among them. Out of approximately 8,000 known species of amphibians, 90% are frogs. Which species is the most populous is unknown. But scientists think the European common frog and the North American wood frog are good bets. The African clawed frog is also a strong contender since it's found throughout much of Africa. Number 8. Reptiles. Which species of reptile is the most numerous? Since we've already mentioned birds, we'll leave them out of this segment. The viviparous lizard is often mentioned as a contender for the world's most abundant reptile. Those animals are found across a wide range of Europe and Asia and extend to the Arctic Circle. Its name is a reference to its ability to give birth to live young in colder regions. North American garter snakes are widely distributed throughout the continent and may represent a significant biomass. Most experts think the world's most numerous reptile is either a snake or a lizard. Number 7. Spiders. With more than 48,000 described species, you know there's a huge number of them. The closest we can get is by describing their presence in terms of mass. Scientists think that there are 25 million tons of spiders living on the planet today. Studies have suggested that every year they eat up to 800 million tons of food or prey. 800 million tons far exceeds the world's total adult human biomass. Given that, spiders could theoretically eat every human on Earth in about one year, and they still might be hungry. Number six, cockroaches. They've been crawling about the planet for some 320 million years, and they're not leaving anytime soon. There are upwards of 4,500 known species that are found all around the world. They can survive in many different types of environments, from the Arctic cold to tropical heat. It's interesting to note that only 30 species are identified as being pests to humans. And just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not present. Up to 50% of human dwellings are thought to contain roaches. The American cockroach is the largest common species that is considered to be a pest. They can grow more than one and a half inches long, four centimeters, and are one of the fastest running insects. Number five, ants, 10 trillion plus. You would expect to see these insects to be well represented in the animal kingdom, and they are. They seem to be everywhere you go, and no wonder why. There are over 10,000 known species, representing an estimated 10 trillion or more individuals worldwide. Some researchers say the number could be in the quadrillions. It's typical to regard them as pests, but ants are usually beneficial to the environment. Some of their services include spreading seeds, and ironically, they can serve as a type of pest control against other insects. Number four, Antarctic krill, 400 trillion. The term krill is traced to a Norwegian word that translates as small fry of fish. That's an apt name for these marine crustaceans that grow about two and a half inches long, 6.4 centimeters. Antarctic krill are found in the Antarctic Ocean and serve as a food source for many animals, including fish, seals, and whales. Since they are such a preyed upon species, these creatures rank at the bottom of the food chain. But with a biomass of around 500 million tons, they rank as one of the world's most abundant animal species in that regard. Conservative estimates place their population at some 400 trillion individuals. With females laying up to 10,000 eggs at a time, their numbers can be quickly replenished. That's good news for all those hungry marine mammals and fish out there. Number three, bristlemouth fish, quadrillions. You know how they say there are plenty of fish in the ocean? It's true. 
And of all those fish in the ocean, it's the bristlemouth that is thought to be the most abundant, with more than 30 species documented. Also called light fishes, their population is estimated to be well into the quadrillions, or numbers with 15 zeros. That also makes them the planet's most numerous vertebrates, period. Most of them are swimming in the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian oceans, with a few that live in Arctic waters. The bristlemouth name refers to their unusual bristle-like teeth. Lightfish refers to the bioluminescent qualities displayed by some species. Number two, insects as a group, quintillions. If you set aside individual species and consider insects as a group, there are some jaw-dropping stats. There are estimated to be more than 200 million of these invertebrates for each human on Earth. The United States alone has more than 91,000 species described so far, and there are more than 70,000 species that are still undocumented. Some estimates indicate that there are 300 pounds, 136 kilograms of insects for every one pound of a human. That probably gives them the greatest biomass of any terrestrial animal. In terms of sheer numbers, scientists estimate that there could be some 10 quintillion individual insects inhabiting the planet. 10 quintillion is the number 10, followed by 18 zeros. Number one, nematodes. They might be better known as roundworms, but whatever you want to call them, there's a humongous amount of nematodes. With some 40,000 species estimated to exist, you might even say there's an overabundance of them. Researchers say that these parasitic creatures can adapt to any ecosystem. That includes polar to tropical environments and locations from the highest mountains to the deepest oceanic trenches. On the ocean floor, they're thought to account for 90% of all animals there. Experts say there are probably 60 billion nematodes for each human on the planet. Overall numbers indicate that roundworms represent about 80% of all individual animals on Earth. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.